Hey everybody, Spooky Marshmallow, and tonight I am going to be talking about Franklin Castle. Franklin Castle is a Victorian stone house built in the American Queen Anne style, located at 4308 Franklin Boulevard in Cleveland's Ohio City neighborhood. The building has four stories and more than 20 rooms and 80 windows. In the late 19th century, when it was built, Franklin Boulevard was one of the most prestigious residential avenues in Cleveland. It is reported to be the most haunted house in Ohio. On March 15, 1982, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places. The house was built in 1881 through 1883 by the famed architectural firm of Cuddle for Haynes Tiedman, I hope I say that right, a prosperous German immigrant. On January 15, 1881, Tiedman's 15-year-old daughter, Emma, succumbed to diabetes. The property saw its second death not long afterwards when Tiedman's elderly mother, Wabika, I hope I said that correctly, died. During the next three years, the Tiedmans would bury three more children, giving rise to speculation that there was more to the deaths than met the eye. This, however, has never been proven. To distract his wife, Louise, from these tragedies, Tiedman began extensive construction on the home, adding a ballroom, which runs the length of the house on the fourth floor of the manor. Also during this building, turrets and gargoyles were added to the edifice's facade, giving the house an even more pronounced castle appearance. It is rumored that hidden rooms and passageways were used for bootlegging during Prohibition. Though rumored, none of these rooms or passageways exist other than a small stairway used by servants from the kitchen to the front door. Louise Tiedman died from a liver disease on March 24th, 1895, I'm sorry. And by 1908, he and the entire Tiedman family were dead, leaving no one to inherit his considerable personal wealth. From 1921 to 1968, the house functioned as a home to various German and cultural organizations. Human bones were found in a closet in 1975, but it's believed they were planted by the new owner looking to gain publicity for his ghost tours of the property. In 1982, the location was added to the National Register of Historic Places. In early 1984, Michael Davinko, Judy Garland's fifth and last husband, purchased Franklin Castle and almost immediately started making major renovations to the house. Over the next 10 years, Davinko spent close to $1 million renovating the castle, even go, going so far as to track down some of the original furnishings for the castle. Despite all this, Davinko put the house up for sale in 1994. There have been a series of owners in the past 30 years. The castle was empty from 1994 until 1999. Michelle Heimberger bought the castle and carriage house for $350,000 using part of her Yahoo stock windfall as one of the company's earliest employees. A native Clevelander, Heimberger was fascinated with the home and purchased it with intentions of restoring the building to its former glory. Unfortunately, that same year, a fire badly damaged the castle. Though extensive repairs were done, the house restoration could not be completed. In 2004, there were rumors that Franklin Castle was going to be completely renovated and turned into the Franklin Castle Club. Around this time, though, the exterior stone of the building was cleaned and the carpet on the left side of the facade was rebuilt according to the 19th century design. The property was damaged again in March of 2011 when the carriage house was damaged in a fire. Now, do you see the, uh, the trend here of what's going on? Every time someone goes to renovate it, there's a fire. Hmm, bit spooky, don't you think? It was announced in July of 2011 that the Franklin Castle had been rezoned to allow it to become a three-family dwelling and that a sale was pending. European tapestry artist Shiara Donna Dal. I hope I said that correctly, purchased Franklin Castle in 2011 for 260000 
The Cleveland Building and Housing Department issued a permit for residential exterior alterations in February of 2012. Local news sources have reported that the buyer intends to convert the building into three family homes and dwelling in two of the spaces. Following several years of historic renovations, the owners announced single night accommodations were available for guests on December 24th, 2022. And you can book a tour of the home and you can stay overnight. On March 18th, 2016, the reality TV series Paranormal Lockdown, which is one of my favorites, I might add, featured the Franklin Castle in the third episode of its first season. On March 5th, 2020, Franklin Castle was featured on the fifth episode of season 19 of Ghost Adventures, which aired on the Travel Channel, which is now on Destination, or I mean Discovery Plus. On November 19th, 2020, Franklin Castle was featured on episode 4, season 2 of The Holzer Files, which aired on the Travel Channel. I love The Holzer Files. I love Dave Schrader. I had the opportunity to meet him at Scarefest last year. He is such a wonderful, kind man. I have his book. When I watched that episode, I watched all three of those episodes I just mentioned. And you can find all three of those on Discovery Plus. I'm not trying to advertise Discovery Plus, but that is where you can find them. Um, and I learned so much about this castle. Um, but to me, the best one was the Holzer Files. And I don't want to give too much of it away, but I do want to say that Dave got to the bottom of a lot of the so-called hauntings of this house. And that episode at the end gets heated between him and one of the people that supposedly lived in the house when it was rumored to be haunted. I'll just say that. So let's talk about what makes this beautiful castle so haunted. So these are all the things that have been reported in that home. Reports of a crying child. Reports of a little girl in a white dress from Victoria era. Reports of a woman staring out of a top floor window. Fully charged electronic items suddenly have all the battery drained. People get touched and pushed. Cold spots throughout the house. Mysterious knocking. Strong energy drains. EVPs. Mysterious footsteps. Equipment malfunctions. Motion sensors going off in empty rooms. Unexplained mists. A woman screaming. Strong feelings of nausea. And there is a book written about this called Haunted Franklin Castle. And it came out in 2017. And it is available for purchase on...